CNN. I think it's inevitable uh, that there will be hearings, uh, but we'd like to do it in a way in which we make no doubt that this is not an attempt uh, to injure the presidency. This is partisan politics at its worst, the sole purpose being to embarrass the president and to score political points. From Washington, Crossfire. On the left, Mike Kinsley. On the right, Pat Buchanan. Tonight, Rising Waters. In the Crossfire, Democratic Senator John Brough of Louisiana and Republican Senator John McCain of Arizona. Good evening. Welcome to Crossfire. Whitewater Special Prosecutor Robert Fisk met with Republican senators today and begged them not to push for hearings on the affair. He said hearings would interfere with his investigation. But the Republicans, led by Senator Al D'Amato, remain unconvinced. They say hearings are crucial. Tomorrow, a grand jury will begin taking testimony from White House aides. Special Prosecutor Fisk praised the White House today as, quote, very responsive and cooperative. Meanwhile, though, today's newspapers had more stories of shredding at the Rose Law Firm. The New York Post charged that key documents were removed from a safe in Vince Foster's White House office shortly after he committed suicide. The White House said there is no safe in Vince Foster's office. A CNN USA Today Gallup poll on Whitewater out today shows 34% of the country thinks Bill Clinton did something illegal or unethical. 39% think Hillary did. 55% of those polled admitted they find the Whitewater story confusing. I think the other 45% were probably fibbing, don't you, Pat? Well, listen, Senator John Bro, you want to be leader of the Democratic Party in the Senate. Uh, let me ask you, do you think it's been a sign of leadership that a lot of you Democrats have been hiding in the tall grass while the president has been cut to pieces by the press and by what you consider savage partisan politics the last five days? Pat, you don't understand. Nobody's hiding at all. When you have a former United States attorney who is a Republican, who is a special counsel, who was supposedly, uh, I think rightfully so, appointed as an impartial investigator, who has a grand jury that is right now convened and looking at this case, the question is, do we want political results? If we want political results, let's have a political hearing in Congress. If you want legal results, let's do it with a special investigator. Let me talk about leadership again. Constitution authorizes and directs the Congress of the United States to oversee the executive branch in the case of misfeasance, malfeasance in office. And whether nobody, elected, nobody elected Robert Fisk. Senator, you're elected. You want to be leader of the Democratic Party. Why don't you all lead this investigation and clear this up for the American people and let the special plot play that his and, role? And clearly the best way to clear it up is not with a political circus with Republicans arguing with Democrats about what happened and if it happened at all. We need an independent, nonpartisan Senator, person, and we have that. Senator, That's your grand party controls does. both houses of Congress. You're telling me that you cannot prevent a political circus, your own congressional committees from turning into a circus? What kind of Congress do we have and what kind of leadership do we have? Pat, clearly, Pat you, have, you, have, you have a bipartisan committees up there. Republicans like my good friend John McCain is going to be trying to say that everything happened. Some Democrats are going to be saying nothing happened. You're not going to get anything but political results with politicians investigating politicians. Senator, excuse me, right, one quick question. You ask the me the worst problem. Is, does that this mean country that the Watergate uh, provided only that? The we Watergate learned investigation from and the Iran Contra. Look what happened to Iran Contra. If you make a mistake once, should be repeated again? Of course not. That was a mistake. Yeah, what, I lost it all more because of that. What important business is there than removing this burgeoning cloud and darkening cloud? over the White House and First Family. What we have done that, we have done really that, regret. we have done that with a United States attorney who is a Republican doing the investigation. You should think that's a good idea. Let me quote you, McCain. Michael, let me quote you Howard Baker, who was on CNN yesterday, as you know, with Tom Foley. That would be and very interesting. Howard, Howard Baker said the American people have the right not to have an 18-month to two-year delay to find out what is exactly going on here. I think it's in the interest of the White House to have full and complete hearings. It is the job of Mr. Fisk to find out criminal behavior. It is the job of Congress to oversee all behavior, whether it be criminal or non-criminal, and whether they're in keeping with their oath of office. All right, but Mr. Fisk did say that he heard Al D'Amato's case, and he said, I still think you're going to screw up my investigation, my <laughs> prosecution, if you mm -hmm. insist on holding these hearings, even if you don't grant immunity. And I, and I certainly... And, 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 and uh, he is a Republican, as John Bro says, 
And if, you, if your goal is really to get to the bottom of this and not just to make political hay, why don't you let Mr. Fisk do his job? Well, of course, there are some questions about Mr. Fisk's credentials, and I won't go into those. I'll, t I'll take him at his word. And there were questions the, when he was appointed. Uh, yes, there were several questions raised. Your leader said it was a great appointment. Well, I don't always follow my leader. Several oh. questions raised. That's, that's irrelevant. I'll say that, <laughs> I'll say that Mr. Fisk... Very relevant. I'll say that... My, you know, I really didn't interrupt you a lot, John, but I will for the rest of the program. Okay. Okay. Uh, the fact is <laughs> that's that... What this the fact is about. that John Bro... I'm glad you're announcing your drive for the leadership right. tonight, and that's why I guess why you're on this program for the first time coming out of the tall grass. And the fact <laughs> is that when the, when, the, when the Republicans were in the White House, we had congressional hearings on Iran-Contra. We had congressional hearings on Ed Meese. We even had a congressional hearing on the October surprise. That was, Remember that? Look, I, we, had, we had hearings on whatever came good? up. The only oh, reason I don't have a partisan Mr. Brody, is because it's your president <laughs> yeah. who's got yeah. his fanny no, in let, the let, let, let me take you up on that. Let me take you up on that, John. It work in Iran-Contra, and it won't work now. Let me take you up on that, John McCain, because I think you're obviously right. The reason Democrats don't want hearings is the Democratic president. And that's not however, true. however, yeah. the reason there were hearings in those days is because Democrats controlled Congress and there was a Republican president. Now, back in the Iran-Contra, I remember Pat firing off op-ed pieces saying the president should tell the Congress to go stuff it. <laughs> now Pat carries on about Congress's constitutional duty to investigate. And Pat's right I, both times. I, isn't there That's a certain... A let, maybe we could be states. Like, isn't there a certain degree of hypocrisy maybe on both sides let here? Me say, let me say not so much hypocrisy as uh, as partisanship. I will agree with uh, with John Bell. There is partisanship and there has been partisanship, but I also suggest to you, Michael, that once a, quote, scandal reaches this level that it's on the front page of the New York Times and Washington Post day after day after day, then there's other momentum. Uh, and to claim that it's just Republicans that are driving this, the New York Times, which is not exactly a re Republican right. organ, called for exactly so that. Senator Bro, so the, the momentum fair. is building behind Senator, this. Look, this is not, look, let's agree there certainly is partisanship. There's partisanship in the Republican press, conservative writers, yeah. columnists, and others. But as a serious matter, if you all maintain these no hearings thing, and Mr. Mr. Fisk keeps a lid on everything and it keeps leaking out all over the place, it's not going to be very long, excuse me, before the Congress, or at least the Democratic part of it, is seen as part of the cover-up crew rather than the cleanup crew. It now, would you not agree to that? I mean, you're going to be let hammered day and question. night for that. Let me answer and your we question. remember with considerable pain in <laughs> 74 elections. <laughs> let me right. answer the question this way. What is wrong, I'd ask my friend Senator McCain the same thing, what is wrong with letting a former United States attorney who was a Republican appointee during that period have a criminal investigation complete with a grand jury and see what they find in that atmosphere before we rush to but a political hearing. How long are you going to give him? I mean, he, uh, Senator McCain makes a good point. Needs. Look, Walsh <laughs> took six years. Yeah. No, no. Six years? Fisk has said that for what, the, what you want to invest in, what you want to hold the hearings on, he would just need a few months. Yes. And, and, uh, and, uh, and if it, he uh, actually, I think he said on the quote misconduct or alleged misconduct of certain White House employees, it would only take a few weeks. If that's the case, then maybe we could have that hearing. And then if it's only going to take a few months, then maybe uh, following that. But there's no doubt that there is oversight of the Congress that exceeds and is different from that of a special prosecutor. The prosecutor is to investigate criminality. And not, Congress will mess not, up that not, investigation Senator, with public hearings. Look at your own, I mean, look again, look at your own interests. It seems to me in the best interest of Congress if there's a lot of stuff. Get all this thrown out now and have it all mucked around over in the spring, and then you get your fall elections coming up and you get it behind you. If you wait and delay this to the fall, how do you run a cover up? I think maybe you ought to listen to it. a good reason, Pat, That's because nice. Congress's <laughs> investigation will muck up a criminal investigation. If you want a political result, let's have a political uh, hearing in the Congress. Why is Congress, if you want so, incompetent, why is Congress so incompetent? It can't run an we, honest, clean investigation. I'm not here to defend the right, Congress, we did. but we do have an obligation. Look what we did in the Iran Contra. Did you that muck it up? That was a Democratic investigation. Why did you muck it up? We had Ollie North out there, and, and Ollie North is free today because Congress did not do a good Job. All you did was, you granted him immunity. Don't grant anybody immunity. Who you think's going to appear? I mean, are we going to have people we want to appear that are not going to appear because of a criminal investigation? Congress will have a political circus. That is not in the interest Senator, of finding the Senator, Bill Clinton Senator. says nobody has done anything wrong. So, okay, so we got an ethical cloud. You all could clear it up unless somebody's done something wrong, and then just tell them not You're to appear. You're not going to clear it up in a political atmosphere with Republicans saying everything Senator, was done wrong and Democrats saying nothing have an oversight here using their logic. Says, no, you can have one after you have the if criminal you don't, investigation. If you don't grant immunity and then people do end up taking the fifth, yeah. like Ollie North did, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then they're not granted immunity, they won't testify, and you won't get to the bottom of it, and all, the only purpose it will serve at that point is... A is political circus. Political, <laughs> political hay. Let's Michael, let, let me remind That's you, if we hadn't had a hearing with Mr. Altman as a witness, we wouldn't know about the so-called meetings. 
if we hadn't had questions asked by the what do you media. so-called meeting? Or, excuse me, the, me the, the heads up, I mean, the heads up briefings, right. uh, not anything wrong. By the way, I've got a governor in my state who's been under indictment, or excuse me, under investigation for three and a half years. I don't know why he didn't get it. And by the way, here's a guy that was under investigation also by the Ethics Committee for my Charlie Keating involvement. And at the same time, there was a criminal prosecution going on of Charlie Keating to the degree where I testified in his trials. So somehow we were able to do that with the Ethics right, Committee. And some people say, and they were televised hearings, by the way, a very interesting chapter of my life. Right, but the fact is that you can hold oversight hearings and not have them. Let's get to uh, the substance. Can you do both Senator, at the same time? Right, let, me, let's get to the substance of this. Let's suppose in the original investigations about 1984-85, this small business loan and this Madison guarantee, it goes back 10 years. Let's suppose Bill Clinton didn't do anything wrong there, maybe made some footfalls. Would it not be true then that his White House has virtually dynamited his presidency in acts of idiocy, breaking into safes, you know, Where getting you get papers breaking <laughs> in the <laughs> safe. Right, they, right, they went into a safe at night. They, they take these papers out. They have a safe in his office. Finding look, a, a, a suicide note two days after. Two days after they looked at the shredding of documents. Case. It sounds like there must be, you know, they're covering up ten there's smoking no, guns. No Let me tell you, this is the best no example. This is the, the best House example, and your listeners would agree. Let me make this point. This is the best example like why we shouldn't novel. have a political investigation in the Capitol. We should have a U.S. attorney doing it away from the TV cameras with a grand jury. That is what is being done. That will bring the truth. All right, you really think it's Al D'Amato and John know. McCain's fault that six top White House aides are marching into a federal grand jury tomorrow and they're all paying high-priced lawyers $300 an hour? Is that our fault? No, yes. it's the U.S. attorney bringing them to testify before a subpoena. That's the way it should How be handled. How did the U.S. attorney get the Congress. information? By, yeah. by, by, by uh, questions by Congress. And he should follow up on it. Yeah. All right. But he wouldn't have had it. Yep. Is, is Hillary's health care reform the next major victim of Whitewater? That question when we come back. <laughs> We are <coughs> concerned about the impact of congressional hearings on that investigation. <coughs> well, I'm very gratified <coughs> by the meeting that we had today. I, I've, been, I've been assured that uh, immunity will not be granted to any witness in any of these investigations. Cowboys fans. Illustrated gives you all the thrills of a second straight super season. In this sensational new video, Dallas Cowboys Super Bowl champions. It's free with your paid subscription to Sports Illustrated, the magazine that gets you into sports like no one else. Call this number now and be with the boys at every game on their amazing journey to another Super Bowl. Over the middle, Urban's wide open at the 30. Keep going until we get to the left. To share the heartbreak. Play on Lance! Play on Lance! Oh my goodness gracious! The headaches. And Aikman is woozy, walking around holding his head. And the happiness. I love you! Hey. You'll hear the talk. If you're gonna talk the talk, you gotta walk the walk! And you'll walk the walk. Call now and enjoy the season with Troy, Michael, and... Get the team of your dreams and have the time of your life with the Super Boys, free from Sports Illustrated. Plus, you'll also receive this special commemorative issue, free with your paid subscription. Sports Illustrated captures the excitement of the Cowboys' success in a championship style you'll enjoy forever. Get your free collector's issue and video, plus 54 issues of Sports Illustrated, including the swimsuit issue for only $1.39 an issue. Save over 52% off the cover price. For quick and delivery, use your credit card. Turn all the success down. With your free Cowboys video and commemorative issue, you'll capture all the thrills of the past year. With Sports Illustrated, you'll enjoy the great moments yet to come. Can they have a free beat? There is no team like the Dallas Cowboys. And there is nothing in the world like Sports Illustrated. Get into it. Welcome back. Once again, we are talking Whitewater on a day when the New York Times and New York Post claim new revelations in the widening scandal involving the first family. Our guests, Republican Senator John McCain of Arizona and Democratic Senator John Bro of Louisiana, who is a front runner to replace George Mitchell as majority leader. Michael? 
John McCain, the special mm -hmm. prosecutor, Fisk non, today. Non-front runner to replace George McCain. <laughs> You're not running. <laughs> uh, the Fisk, Fisk said today that the White House is being very cooperative. They're not resisting the subpoenas. They're, uh, they're not asserting executive privilege. Lloyd Cutler said, look, we don't think you should have hearings. If you have hearings, we'll be happy to testify. Isn't that a refreshing change from the way Republican presidencies treated these, these investigations? The, the last I heard, the, the Republican presidencies really didn't have any choice. The Democratic majority in Congress acted and, and oh, set up the Oh, but they claimed the, executive the privilege. And, uh, they said they, they refused to testify. They put I, every I, stumbling block they could. This is very true? different, isn't it? It's a very good tactic, by the way. But uh, there wasn't the Watergate the, the, the most egregious examples of that. I don't know if they did that in the Mies investigation, nor in Iran-Contra. In Iran-Contra, they did make some assertions of national security Senator Brogue, and, and uh, uh, executive privilege. Clearly, didn't they pass? I don't, I don't recall. As Mr. Nixon said, you can always say, I can't recall. <laughs> uh, uh, look, the president clearly has helped himself to a degree the last two days. He's gone out and held these press conferences right in front of the press, taken all their questions, said, look, I don't know the answer to that, and here's what... Don't you think that in light of what's going on, the first lady ought to do the same thing? In this sense, we've got this huge story in the Washington Times about wholesale shredding in 1992 on her, her orders, telling these kids, take these documents over and shred them and the rest of it. Now, she can't know about the details of Whitewater Madison, but would it not be a good thing for her just to stand up and take the same press questions the president is, at least get that behind him so she can focus on, she's number one surrogate for health care. to every political charge that's leveled I mean, at the White House. Just to clear up this, the front page of the New York Times this the, morning. The front page of the New York Times accused the Rose Law Firm yes. of yes. shredding. Yes. Now, of course, you have to make clear, law firms have shredders. The reason yes. they have shredders is because they shred all the time. Yes. But this accusation was they shredded whitewater documents yes. after, documents. After, after, after the Fisk said he was investigating Foster. Yes. If that's true, that's very bad. Yes. There's all sorts of reasons why it might not be true. But even that story didn't implicate Hillary Clinton in any way. Yeah, but let, let me point out the reason why I hear uh, that some Democrat colleagues uh, of John's are, are saying that this may be inevitable is because the fact is, if you look at the, at the uh, front page of the New York Times this morning and other newspapers, the flow, the blood flow has not been stopped. Now, maybe Lloyd Cutler can do that, maybe uh, the president's impassioned plea, but when you look at the polling numbers that you put up at the beginning of the program, I think that some Democrats are going to believe that it might be better to uh, have hearings and get all this out, rather than the... I, I, we're, we're confused. We're, we, all of the four of us are amongst that 55% that don't understand all, right. all yeah, the... I want to meet that 45% that have it on I do top too. What is yeah, wrong with letting the special counselor conduct... Let me ask you a question. Yeah, a grand sure. jury investigation, subpoena everybody like he's done already, get those results, and then determine at that point whether we need congressional hearings because, or not. Because, John, if further allegations continue to surface, as they do almost daily, we're subjecting mm -hmm. your White House to an 18 to 24 month, in, in the view of some, or six month delay so in getting I, that information out. So do I understand that your concern is solely for the good of Absolutely the President of the White not. House? Absolutely but, but not. Senator Absolutely Brown, not. <laughs> I, I plead sir. guilty There's to partisanship, answer. but I also think that it's not healthy for America to subject presidency after presidency to excoriation and degradation because we lose respect for the institution. Well, Senator, you've got to have a higher standard of, of behavior in the White House than simply that they did not commit felonies in, uh, in within a certain time period. Of course. I mean, this is why the Congress oversight function, especially on this, this SNL was looted for $60 million taxpayers' dollars. It involves all these politicians down there in Arkansas. And you're saying, well, let the special prosecutor have it? First I mean, of all, they got to look bad for any criminal illegalities that may have occurred. That's what we have to look for, number one. And then after that's determined, if there are no criminal illegalities that ever occurred, then I think the Congress has a role in coming in and determining whether we should restructure the RTC, should we put up some right, more Let's go back to the First Lady. As Michael pointed out, what is it, 45% 
think now she's done something wrong. 55% think she's got too much power. Her unfavorable rating has doubled in one year. It seemed to me that, I mean, as a friend of the president say, Mr. President, the First Lady's out there in health care. She's a good advocate. She better get out there and just provide some answers here. Well, I, 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 if you want That's political answers, you should have a political Clinton. hearing. You cannot have the Congress spending millions of dollars having a hearing like we did in iran Gate, and I think it was a big mistake the way it was handled, but we don't want to make the same mistake twice. We should find out through a special prosecutor whether any illegal acts were actually occurred during that period of time. Uh, then let Congress make the decision. I, could I make what we should one do. comment? This is an example, though, of we have criminalized politics, mm -hmm. as you know, and I think we saw that with Kay Bailey Hutchison. We've seen it with other uh, aspects, uh, the, 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 the uh, surprise, October surprise. We are now criminalizing politics in America, and I think that's dangerous. Are you saying that your politics. Republican U.S. attorney is not going to be fair and do a good I job? I think he's going to be good fair, job. but I think well, that's that, all we uh, ask. Uh, 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 thing, though, I think you're, you're, you're the guy that wanted the special Are you objecting I, to the I, existence no, no, of the special it, prosecutor? But it, but, it, but it is a, a payback in some respects, and several right. people have said this, for what has been done to Republicans over the years. When you when you have to have a special prosecutor over the, uh, over the October surprise... Mr. Bro, it is not a substitute for your role as oversight. It's not a... But special prosecutors... Not a substitute. We should Congress. have those oversight, Pat, but we shouldn't have it at the same time a grand jury is investigating whether any criminal acts occurred. That's okay. the difference. Okay. Thanks okay. very much, Senator John Bro, Senator Thanks. John McCain. Pat and I will have a few seconds in just a moment. In a changing world, one company is changing the way the world communicates with the nation's number one cable network year after year and the world's leader in television news. From the fastest 30-minute news service to original productions, sports, and timeless motion pictures. And now, the one and only 24-hour cartoon network. Programming for the world at Turner Broadcasting today. Leaving your job means deciding where to put the money from your retirement distribution. Rolling it into an IRA is smart, but paying annual fees and mutual fund sales charges at the start can set you back. To make all your money work for you, roll it into a Schwab No Annual Fee IRA. It's guaranteed free of annual fees for the life of the account. And with Schwab's Mutual Fund One Source service, you can invest in over 200 no-load mutual funds from well-known fund companies and pay no sales charges. That way, every dollar you invest goes to work for you from the start. And to help select the funds that may be best for you, this Mutual Fund's performance guide is yours free when you open an IRA account. To find out more about the Schwab No Annual Fee Rollover IRA, call 1-800-5-NO-LOAD. Get the IRA with the information you want without the fees you don't. Call 1-800-5-NO-LOAD today. So to make all your rollover money work for you, maybe it's time to come to Schwab. When it comes to covering President Clinton and the White House, CNN is the best in the business. According to the prestigious American Journalism Review, CNN, the world's news leader. It's been a wild night, Pat. Our mics, my mic just went dead, and the, Senate, the two senators had to rush over here from a vote with about a minute to spare. I hope right. the special prosecutor doesn't investigate them for breaking through red lights. As for you, however, are you prepared to admit you are being a tiny bit hypocritical in your sudden passion for, con for Congress's constitutional duty to investigate presidential misbehavior? Do I remember incorrectly that you told Congress to stuff it back no, in the Reagan I said, days? No, that's not a, I certainly didn't say that publicly. Oh, I, I told, I, I did tell the president to do something. I don't recall exactly what it was. But let me say this. I'll make a deal with you. I don't want to see any of these guys go to jail. I don't like criminalization of politics. You know, I think the special prosecutor should go ahead. But if these guys testify and it fouls up, and it, you know, somebody going to jail, who cares? Why don't you get this whole thing out? I mean, Congress has got to get back to its constitutional role. Well, I'm delighted to hear your sudden passion for Congress's constitutional role. And I hope it lasts through the next Republican no, presidency, which I hope is a long we're, way off. From the left, time by Kinsley. Good night for Crossfire. From the right, Pat Buchanan. Join us tomorrow night for another edition of Crossfire. And give me this thing back. Sunday, nuclear secrets, deadly consequences, billions to clean up, the fallout from America's nuclear shame. CNN presents Sunday. There's a lot more to Warner Cable than meets the eye. Behind the scenes, we're working day and night to make every aspect of our service as picture-perfect as our programming. 
24 hours. ...have been cooperative. Meanwhile, though, today's newspapers had more stories of shredding at the Rose Law Firm. The New York Post charged that key documents were removed from a safe in Vince Foster's White House office shortly after he committed suicide. The White House said there is no safe in Vince Foster's office. A CNN USA Today Gallup poll on Whitewater out today shows 34% of the country thinks Bill Clinton did something illegal or unethical. 39% think Hillary did. 55% of those polled admitted they find the Whitewater story confusing. I think the other 45% were probably fibbing, don't you, Pat? Well, CNN. I think it's inevitable uh, that there will be hearings, uh, but we'd like to do it in a way in which we make no doubt that this is not an attempt uh, to injure the presidency. This is partisan politics at its worst, the sole purpose being to embarrass the president and to score political points. From Washington, Crossfire. On the left, Mike Kinsley. On the right, Pat Buchanan. Tonight, Rising Waters. In the Crossfire, Democratic Senator John Bro of Louisiana and Republican Senator John McCain of Arizona. Good evening. Welcome to Crossfire. Whitewater Special Prosecutor Robert Fisk met with Republican senators today and begged them not to push for hearings on the affair. He said hearings would interfere with his investigation. But the Republicans, led by Senator Al D'Amato, remain unconvinced. They say hearings are crucial. Tomorrow, a grand jury will begin taking testimony from White House aides. Special Prosecutor Fisk praised the White House today as, quote, very responsive. Listen. Senator John Bro, you want to be leader of the Democratic Party in the Senate. Uh, let me ask you, do you think it's been a sign of leadership that a lot of you Democrats have been hiding in the tall grass while the president has been cut to pieces by the press and by what you consider savage partisan politics the last five days? Pat, you don't understand. Nobody's hiding at all. When you have a former United States attorney who is a Republican, who is a special counsel, who was supposedly, uh, I think rightfully so, appointed as an impartial investigator who has a grand jury that is right now convened and looking at this case. The question is, do we want political results? If we want political results, let's have a political hearing in Congress. If you want legal results, let's do it with a special investigator. Let me talk about leadership again. Constitution authorizes and directs the Congress of the United States to oversee the executive branch in the case of misfeasance, malfeasance in office. And whether nobody elected nobody elected Robert Fisk. Senator, you're elected. You want to be leader of the Democratic Party. Why don't you all lead this investigation and clear this up for the American people and let the special plus play his role? And clearly the best way to clear it up is not with a political